So the School of Science at Birkbeck is made up of three very strong research departments. The Department of Psychological Sciences, who are the fifth best in the UK in the last research assessment exercise. The Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences, third best department in the UK for Earth Sciences. And the Department of Biological Sciences, the world leading institute of structural and molecular biology. Birkbeck is well known for structural biology and therefore it's very very equipped. So this is our mosquito nanoliter drop dispenser. This is crucial to our ability to set up crystallization trials. A great strength of biology at Birkbeck is protein crystallography. Well, my lab is called Dynamic Memory and Cognition Lab and we focus on memory as a dynamical process. As a PhD student or a postdoc in the lab, you can partake in all kinds of contest seminars and learn from all those groups. I've done a first year, I'm still in, I'm still in the process of flux, so it, where I was quite rigid when I came in because I'd, I'd spent 12 years outside in the field doing stuff on my own. Um, I've had to really think about new areas that I can, I can look at and, and challenge my own assumptions. My work involves studying the interactions between the fungi and all of their different hosts which can include nematodes, insects, plants and other fungi. We're interested in these interactions because we would like to use these organisms to control pests, weeds and diseases in integrated pest management systems. Well I enjoy the fact that you can go out into the field um, you know, away to somewhere like the Cape Verde Islands or Greenland or I mean, people go to Antarctica and places like that and uh, and that's really getting away from it all, it's about as far, as, you know, as far away as you can get without going to a different planet and yet you come home back to, to the lab, back to London and uh, you've got all these lovely samples to work on, it's new data to work on. Yeah, as an overseas student, um, well there's two things they could do, either they could bring their own project with them and say, well, I'm very interested in studying you know, the mantle xenoliths or the alkaline igneous rocks or the basalts of my country. And then you would come and use our equipment, uh, for example, the electron microprobe, which almost all my students use that. Uh, it's a workhorse piece of equipment. Um, the laser ICPMS, which we have, or there are other pieces of equipment available, both within the um, department here at Birkbeck and uh, in collaboration with our colleagues at other universities. What my research is looking at is going out to look in the field at vaults um, to collect um, rocks and, and sediments from within the vaults to uh, date the ages of these vaults to find out whether there is a predictable pattern in when vaults move and how that relates between populations of faults. We've been in, involved very much in the development of something called synchrotron radiation circular dichroism spectroscopy. It's a new technique for looking at the structure of proteins and indeed I have been working with my Brazilian partners at, um, to develop um, a potential beam line at the synchrotron in Campinas, Brazil to work on such things. Our research uses primarily functional magnetic resonance imaging as well as structural MRI uh, along with a number of behavioral methods. Uh, so we look at, at just simple reaction times uh, to more complex behaviors and combine those together. We always make sure that, that both students and postdocs are always preparing for the next step in their career as well. So we make sure that they, they have enough publications and studies so that they, they can really move on from a very strong starting position when they do leave Birkbeck. Um, CBCD in particular is um, one of the world's largest neurocognitive labs um, and has um, a great reputation um, and so I'm thrilled to be a postdoc here. Okay, so we're particularly interested in um, 
the cognitive phenotype of kids with Down syndrome. And the reason we're interested in their um, cognition and their memory in particular is because of the links that they have that Down syndrome has with Alzheimer's disease. There are lots of researchers here that um, are open to kind of talking to you. There's always a, a lab group that you can go to um, and there are lots of world-class universities that surround Birkbeck. It's an excellent place to, to come and do multidisciplinary research where you can learn a technique in a, certain, in a lab and actually capitalise on the experience on different, on different subject areas uh, to make that even better.